Student-student interaction in online classes. Students have a lot of methods they can use to interact online. We can think of these types of interactions in many ways. There's whole group interaction, pair or small group work, synchronous, happening in real time, or asynchronous contact at different times. Let's look at a few of these through the lens of different online tools. We're most familiar with discussion posts where students respond to a question prompt. Discussion can be whole class or better yet, broken down into small groups. There's also email, texting. Like discussions, these interactions are asynchronous. Perhaps the most common real-time tool that we're all familiar with is the online chat. Students can also share content and comment asynchronously through blogs, wikis, online presentation apps like VoiceThread, SlideShare, and common social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. Collaborative documents let students interact in both real-time and asynchronously, providing alternatives for how best to complete assignments or engage in whole group brainstorming activities. Web conferencing applications let us present chat, and, depending on the interface, use webcam video to connect our students with each other in a whole class format. Some programs even let us break down students into groups or pairs. So to sum up, for student-student interaction, we need to decide a few things. Asynchronous or synchronous, whole class or pair, small group, and the tool we'll use. And that's it. We've laid the groundwork for our students to connect with each other. <laughs>